Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in this session we'll be uh, knowing about the end-to-end -end process of uh, revenue recognition within the advanced revenue management. So this ARM feature that is a, uh, advanced revenue management feature automates revenue forecasting, allocation, recognition, reclassification and auditing through a rule-based event handling framework and with this uh, arm feature we can defer revenue for recognition across future time period according to the rules that are configured uh, so with uh, when which means that uh, if the arm feature is enabled so revenue for all the items is deferred until revenue recognition journal entry are, are created so i have to, uh, as mentioned earlier that there are uh, uh, source documents there are various source documents that are there in the arm uh, that is advanced revenue management that can be sales order invoices cash sales etc so uh, we'll uh, see this uh, uh, arm workflow how this arm workflow works uh, in our netsuite application for the purpose of revenue recognition so first we should have a sales order and under the, that sales order uh, we can have the revenue arrangement so what is revenue uh, arrangement it is a non posting transaction that records the details of customer performance obligation for the purpose of revenue allocation and recognition and ARM automatically creates a revenue arrangement from a predefined uh, revenue uh, sources uh, that can be a sales order or it can be invoices. Then comes our next concern after revenue arrangement. Within each, uh, within the revenue arrangement, we can have another document that is a revenue element. So these are all the records that correspond to individual line items in a source and each revenue element represents a, a separate performance uh, obligation and revenue elements are attached as lines on a revenue arrangement documents. Then below that we have the revenue plans. So these revenue recognition plans are the records that indicate the uh, posting periods in which revenue should be recognized in each period and after uh, uh, having the revenue recognition plan after updating the revenue recognition plan where we can have the uh, general uh, ledger posting we can have the posting of that transaction so that uh, we can say that yes at that time we can say that uh, we have recognized the revenue so we'll uh, see the same uh, workflow uh, to be executed in our NetSuite application So within the NetSuite application, uh, the first step before uh, uh, seeing the revenue impacts in our sales order, we'll have to see uh, the field mapping. So what uh, for that we have to go into setup accounting. Yeah, we have the option of revenue field mapping. So what happens uh, with this uh, ARM feature, we can map custom and standard fields from source records to custom and some standard uh, uh, transactions columns uh, field in the revenue arrangement. So uh, we'll go into the revenue field mapping here. So what happens here, we have to uh, map the required uh, source field to the target field. So here we can see that at the transaction level, we have to uh, uh, map the uh, start date and this source field is the sales order field and this target field is the uh, revenue arrangement wherein we have to map uh, both these fields. So I have mapped the, we have to map the start date with the start date of the sales order with the start date of the revenue arrangement. Similarly, we can also, uh, we also have to map the end date of the sales order with the end date of the revenue arrangement at the transaction level and we'll click on save. So we are done with the uh, field mapping. Now we'll uh, move and uh, see the sales order, how this is the sales order that uh, has to be created for recognizing revenue. The status I have left is pending fulfillment. Here we have to mention the items. So I have taken this, mentioning quantity here. Then comes the rate. We have to select some tax code here.
supply required date expected ship date everything is here here we have to define the rev reg start date we also have to mention the end date also so i am taking here 27th of september Twenty twenty three, and I'll click on add. Now I will save this. So our sales order has been saved now. After uh, creating or generating the sales order. Uh, what happens here we have to see uh, whether the revenue uh, arrange whether the revenue arrangements are to be uh, revenue arrangements and plans are to be updated manually or uh, we want it to be automatic so for that we'll go into uh, setup accounting under accounting preferences here we go down underneath here yes so under the advanced revenue management here we have to uh, see this uh, uh, update revenue frequency so what happens here it determines whether plans are created automatically if we select uh, automatic here we have we have two options for both for the revenue arrangement and for revenue plans also we have two options automatic and manual so if we click uh, if we uh, select here automatic so when it is select automatic uh, the system creates uh, and updates the revenue plans and arrangement every 3 hours and if we do not want we want to keep it as manual so we have to uh, manually update uh, or uh, uh, we can you know do the updation manually uh, by going over here so i am keeping it manual because if i keep it uh, uh, sorry automatic so it will be updated within 3 hours so and if you want it to be uh, done uh, uh, manually so for that we'll go into transaction financials here we have the option of update revenue arrangements and uh, revenue recognition plan so here we have to uh, if we we uh, select the option of manual one so here we have to mention the source from and source to date i'll first i'll click on rev update revenue arrangement then we all we have to uh, mention a date for updation of the revenue plans here I'll click on update revenue plans. So in this way we can update the revenue arrangements and revenue plans. So after uh, updation of the revenue arrangement and revenue plans we'll go back to the sales order that have been created. so this is the sales order we'll go into the related records of it here we can see that the revenue arrangement has been generated we'll uh, click on this date it has been approved so this is the revenue arrangement it contains all the information of that sales order and you can see that revenue plan has not been started just because we have not uh, created a journal entry and under this revenue arrangement we have seen in the workflow that within the revenue arrangement we can have the revenue elements that contains all the line items in it and we can view the revenue plans here by clicking on it so this is the revenue plan here and if we click on this number that is 4017 
uh, you can see that this is the planned revenue and uh, since we have not uh, created any journal entries that is why uh, nothing is shown here so uh, we uh, in order to create a journal entry we have to go into transaction and here we have to generate the appropriate journal entry so that the revenue could be posted to the required journal ledger in creation of revenue recognition journal entry is a part of month and processing but we can uh, run the process any time and multiple times in a month we can also schedule the creation of revenue recognition journal entry process to run it automatically. Uh, we can uh, set a trigger for it so that the journal entry could be created based on the schedule or we can uh, create, an, create a manual journal entry by clicking over here financials revenue recognition journal entry and so this is the journal entry page uh, here we have to uh, select the posting period that is September 2022. Uh, we have to define the subsidiary here and the revenue arrangement is here that has that we have created just now we will click on this create journal entries so here you can see that it is uh, initializing we have to click on refresh so our journal entry has been generated we will click on this complete here is the number one four four six so you can see that this is the journal entry and uh, but its uh, status is shown as pending approval so in order to recognize the revenue uh, means in order to post this revenues we have to approve it now it has got approved here you can see that so these are the uh, accounts that have been uh, affected that we have configured on the item record uh, while uh, doing the item record configuration. So these two are the accounts that is deferred, in for, uh, deferred revenue account and the revenue account. The, here this is the client or the customer name. This is the uh, plan number if we click on it. So here you can see that uh, previously the status was shown as not started but as soon as we have created a journal entry so the status of this revenue plan has got completed and the journal uh, entry number is shown here if we click on it so it will take us to the journal page. So this is an indication if the status is shown here as completed it means that we have recognized the revenue. So in this manner uh, we can uh, create a sales record and we can have uh, we, we can update the revenue plans and we have seen how the revenue can be recognized we have seen the whole end-to-end -end process of recognizing revenue so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.biespsolutions.com thank you